Hello, I'm John, and today we're going to be engraving a tumbler with the Xtool D1 10 watt. Let's get to it. First step is to choose the right tumbler. This is a stainless steel with anodized coating. It has straight edges with a slight taper. Um, there are other videos on how you can create your own spacer, but I simply tilted the rotor accessory to compensate for that and it worked out fine. Set up your risers so that the laser head can clear your cup. Also make sure to measure your tumbler circumference for your design and the diameter so that you can set the correct number on your rotary. This is quick and with the hex wrench that comes with it, you can adjust it easily. Make sure your file is set up correctly with the circumference of your tumbler as well as the height of the area that's flat. Import your file and set it to cylindrical mode you can use the framing option to make sure your rotary is aligned correctly and is turning freely. With laser tumblers, you can use dry beans or rice to weigh down the cup while allowing it to turn freely. Make sure your computer is not set to go to sleep as this will stop the laser and is not recoverable. I learned that the hard way. So this is imported as an SVG. I turn the text into path lines. Um, so that it would be the same as everything else. I'm going to click on it, click fill. You want this to be oriented the same way as your cup. So looking at the machine, the top of the cup is to the left. So I'm going to need to rotate this to 70 so that, the, that it's oriented the same way. You can also check this by having it frame. And then here are the settings, 80%, 80 millimeters per second. And then again, double check that circumference, make sure that your design fits within the area of the cup that is flat. And then we'll pull up the working screen and it's gonna take about 36 minutes. Uh, again, you can do framing and then press start. For expensive cups, you can mask and test alignment. Just make sure you change the settings for something that's only gonna engrave on the tape. Return it to the starting position after testing so the alignment stays the same. Put in your settings and watch it go. And it's that easy, engraving on a tumbler with the Xtool D110 watt RA1 rotary. Join the official Xtool Facebook group for more information to see what everybody else is making. And as always, have fun lasering.